hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Honey Miss 33 coming with a vlog here. Uh, <laughs> this is literally my time time trying to make this video. Uh, I'd be, I surpassed too long. I make it too long. Uh, so y'all can imagine how long those videos were and how long I've been doing this for right now. Woke up this morning. I'm just being mind raped, if you want to call it, with this whole situation of how the sneaker community is going. Well, the whole sneaker world is right now. Uh, to me, I just don't know. Uh, the thing is, I love them. Am I going to be hypocritical about it? Probably. Due to the fact that there's certain ones that I'm going to go for, and I know I am. At the end of the day, <coughs> like, I mean, I started seeing the Columbia Fours, and they're sitting there, and they're making me want them again. You know, want him. Not again, but they make me want him. And I wouldn't want these Oreo fours, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I, I want him. I want him, but it's that price, guys. I mean, yeah, I got my first remastered one, which is a seven. Y'all go in and check the review on this and everything. The more and more I see it, I see stuff that I missed on it. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell right there. There's a paint issue right here. It's not a huge issue, but still, they said that we weren't going to have this issue. Uh, the sole right here, I mean the toe area right there. I don't know if y'all can see it as little, y'all can see the glue right there. Um, it's a lot better than um, a couple of the Jordans I've seen um, from last year, even this year. Um, I've heard some people call it, they had the yin-yang effect in their fours, where one of the fours had like a full tumble look, amazing tumble leather, and the other ones were just flat. Um, now, my theory on that, I'm going to go to it straight up, is if I'm not wrong, this is the part where they pull more, so that's why they it, it's a little bit more smoother here or flatter here, and the same thing back here. But then if you go around and you start touching, because they don't use, to me, I don't think it's that they use two different leathers, no. Because you could tell right here in this part especially, that's the same panel right there, same leather right there, right? And then if you see here, it's very tumbly. But then the part right here where it's glued at, where it was stretched to be sold, it's actually kind of flat also. So that's my theory of why that happened. Um, if you don't understand how the construction goes on certain things, I would understand why you get a little mad and it's understandable. Um, now the other thing about when the four is they were all complete that flats, excuse me, smooth tumble leather. I don't know why, uh, that has no excuse. And I'm hoping it's getting a lot better because it did get a lot better than the four to me. Um, cause I did see one four where that effect happened. Even half the shoe was actually like a smooth and then the other one was like tumble, which, wow. Um, which I think happened with the 13, the Jim Red 13. Um, it's not that it wasn't, a, you can't compare the leather from that. Cause actually this leather is still a little better than that. But again, like I said, it's a little better. That's the thing. A little better. It's supposed to be a lot better. There's a reason why they were called remastered, and then they're not showing it. Let's see how the Oreos are going to be. Um, I don't think there's any other retro before the Oreos. I think the Oreos are the next one, and then after that is Marvin the Martians, I think. And then the lasers or whatever. I'm not sure. I'm starting to lose it. I'm like, I don't know. Um, At first, I had eight. That I wanted to cop this year. Then it dropped to six. Now it might drop to just four. Unless I double up on one of them. And that's the Aqua 8. Or I double up on these. And I get them for a Super Steel. Um, I don't know guys. I mean. Put it this way. Okay. This shoe came out 190. Yeah. And the shoe I'm about to show you. I released back like about a year or two. This sneaker has about the same type of leather. Y'all can see the tumbleness right there. I don't know. 
y'all can see on the black, but the black leather on this right here, not the patent, but the black leather here is basically almost similar. Smells um, almost the same. Um, and this leather here, same had the same effect that you see here. It's more tumbled here than right here. And I think it's because this is where they hold on a little more to so. Um, this sneaker only costs 130 Now, if this sneaker really released it or released this year, it probably would have cost only $130. Um, I don't see no Reebok pump, really, unless it's like a collab or anything where it's like over $150. Um, and those have immaculate leather or, you know, something. Because of the collab, it's a little bit more. Um, is I don't know, man. Just this price range. It's not that I I won't be able to afford it because you could always, if you really want something, you can get it. Um, uh, you you you'll find ways to get it. But that whole, it, it's to me like, is it really worth me, basically getting this at this price if. I can go to another brand and get something similar for cheaper. Uh, last year, I think I ended up getting a lot more Reeboks and Felis than I did Nike or um, the Jordan brand. Uh, if I'm not wrong, yeah. Uh, or other, other brands. Um... This year so far, I started already with one Reebok. And what else did I get? Uh, oh, one Reebok and a Nike and a Jordan. So basically one of each already. Um, the yeah, last year I ended with three, three Felis for half, basically half of the prices of, half, half of the price, one Fila. Um, I'm just, I'm just lost with this. Uh, I'm only gonna try to make it ten minutes. So I'm at the almost eight minute mark. Um, don't want to take too much of y'all time, but I want to thank y'all here. You know, for um uh, for supporting me. Uh, oh yeah, another thing. Um, uh, my giveaway guys, uh, my five guys that actually participated in. Um, the winner, well, five in total. Uh, y'all stuff is coming up. Um, I'm still working on it. Um, like I told y'all, if y'all don't get it by the end of this month, y'all will be getting it no later than mid next month. It's something I'm working on, and it's something that it's basically handmade and hand done. Um, just want to show y'all appreciation for supporting me. Um, but yeah, that's a whole other thing. Uh, I'm still going to do what I say I'm going to do. It's just going to take a little time. But I don't know, guys. This sneaker stuff is just, wow. Um, I don't know where it's going to go for me. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all going to be doing this year. Um, sorry, I can't check at the time. Um. What y'all gonna be doing? What y'all gonna be copying? Um, what y'all be gonna be hoping to cop, or what? Y or what y'all thought y'all gonna cop, and now because of certain things that y'all seen, y'all not gonna cop because y'all gonna see y'all seen it's not worth it or whatever. Let me know what y'all think how it's gonna end up this year. I'm gonna try to do my best uh, to bring as much content as I can bring. Um, Am I going to be copying as much as I did last year? Probably not. Uh, are y'all going to be seeing more sneaker stuff? Probably, but it's not going to be stuff that I cop. It's probably going to be talking about uh, certain parts of my collection growing. Uh, or I'll probably just go end up doing what I've been wanting to do. And that's find uh, other sneakers that I didn't get in the past. 
and get him now. Sorry, I messed with my thing. <laughs> uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, that's all I had to say today. Uh, it'll probably be another one coming up. Probably part two. Um, well, number two of the blah blah vlogs. Uh, those will be coming soon. Uh, and I think I'm gonna keep that up. The blah blah vlogs. Uh, I see a couple people that like them so. This is 100 Mr. 83. I've passed 10 minutes. I knew I was going to do it. Uh, yeah, this is 100 Mr. 83. Uh, go ahead, comment, like, subscribe. There's more to come. Uh, at least vlog-wise, sneaker-wise. We'll see. Y'all know how it is. If I see a super steel, I'm going to get it. If And it's something that I like, I'll get it. Uh, if not, hey, let them sit in the shelves and collect us. Our resellers. Man, do what you got to do. Uh, Nike ain't going to bring you down. The biggest advice I could give you is if you're buying 10 pairs, if you can sell them all, that will be dope. If not, keep five for now. I mean, sell five and keep five and tell you you're going to double your money in about a year or two, uh, if not triple your money. Um, but, yeah, guys, that's going to be a whole another vlog I will talk about how I think um, if I couldn't afford it, what I would do. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be a whole other vlog. So this is Henry Mr. 83. Go ahead and check out my Instagram and Twitter. Same as here. And, um, yeah, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know, like I said below, what y'all feel what this sneaker world is coming to or what y'all going to be, you know, getting copying or not copying or whatever. This is Henry Mr. 83. God bless. Later.